Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a burger house in Minecraft. Or whatever you like to do with a burger. Alright, you can make it into a Burger King, McDonald's. Nobody cares, alright? So, anyway, before we actually build our burger house, or burger building, please do remember to check out my Real Life Things playlist linked down below this video, alright? Now, anyway, so this is actually where I'm getting the original idea from. I'm not going to make it exactly look like that. Although, I'm going to have some of the stuff that will be featured on this burger. For instance, uh, the lettuce, the tomatoes, the onions. Alright, we'll just call this a Whopper House. Because I'm rolling the booth for Burger King. Anyway, so, what we're going to be needing to build this burger style building is we're going to be needing some orange wool, some soul sand, all right? Now, soul sand will create the burger patties, all right? We'll make it a double, for example. We're going to be needing some green wool that will be representing the lettuce, but instead, we can use some lime wool to make it, like, a little bit more brighter. We're going to also need some yellow wool. We'll need some red wool, and we'll need some white wool. Alright, now anyway, so once you got all those materials, we're going to be starting off with a row of five awesome blue wool. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then we can do, um, we could do an upright diagonal, then go right one, and then we could do that step two more times. We can also do it on this side as well, so. Alright, like that. Then we're going to do two up right diagonals. That's one, two. And on this side, two up left diagonals. One, two. We want to go on top of these by four. One, two, three, and four. Right. We're going to do on this side. One, um, excuse me. One, two, three, four. Like that. It's starting to look good so far. And then we want to do an up right diagonal. And I'm top out on the left side. And, we, and then we want to go ahead to go right by one. Do that step two more times. On this side, we could do it like do an up left diagonal, then go left one. Do that step three times though, like that. Alright. But we do have a little problem here. As to what it looks like, it's not exactly looking right, so instead. We can scrap that idea, and then we can instead go up by one. So, just to make it look a little bit better. In fact, like this. All right. Wait, well, yeah, just remember the ideas are endless, right? Just they just want to be looking like a burger. All right. That's the only requirements, right? We don't care about the shape. We don't care about anything like that. The only requirements is to look like a bird. So I think this idea will kind of look good. And then we could just do an a diagonal. And then we could just connect that together. Kind of looks something like that, but yeah. It looks like I kind of dislike the idea here. Maybe what we can do is maybe we can... We can keep the original five, all right. Now, yeah, I would like to do a little bit of modifications. You can make the burger smaller, but this is the only idea that I possibly got. The only idea, and I do believe this will make it like a big circle, or a good size circle, all right, so. Maybe we could do two upright diagonals, actually three. We can go on top of this by four. Then do the three diagonals, one, two, three, four. Do the bottom three, one, two, three, four. Then we can do that. Okay, that looks good. That looks good, actually. Okay, I kind of agree with that idea. Alright, that's actually the way I'm going to do this. Alright, All right, so once you figure out your bun shape, which mine's is like this, we're going to add another layer of orange wool, like this, alright, this will give you guys a moment or two, 
Let's actually think about what else we're going to do. Alright. Now what we want to do is that we want to add some soul sand. And this wants to be one row this wants to be one row higher and one row outwards. We want to do a layer of soul sand that goes all the way around the button, what we like to call this one. So just make it like this, all right? And then after this, we're going to be adding a layer of yellow wool, and we will make a little bit of modifications, all right? Now you can make your cheese uh, round or square. We don't care, all right? You can even make the burger patty square to make it look somewhere like Wendy's Burgers. I know, that would be kind of a good idea, right? So, once you got that taken care of, we want to add another layer of soul sand directly on top, and then we can actually work on the cheese directly afterwards. Because the burger patties are going to be around the same thickness as the buns. Just a little bit bigger. So, anyway. Nobody wants a burger with a patty not being able to fit into the bun, like smaller than the bun. Nobody wants that. So anyway, now the next thing we want to do is we want to add the cheese, alright? Now, for the cheese, we're going to add on the layer directly on top of the soul sand. Alright? I'm making mine like in the style of Gouda, alright? Which, for this one, I can initially have like an orange crust looking outside and then the inside would be like considerably like huh. well you know what good cheese looks like guys definitely smokehouse brisket from arby's or any arby sandwiches where they smokehouse they'll have gouda cheese on top and then well the I'm going to make the upstairs portion right here. So, I know this will not exactly look like Gouda cheese, but it's supposed to be white center, but but this is the only idea that I actually have, alright? Alright, so, and then I can make a little bit of notifications, or modifications, I'm not notifications. Alright, we can add some modifications, oops. We don't need the lettuce yet. We don't want lettuce on our cheese yet. Until we actually need it. Alright, so we're still working on this. So. Anyway. Alright. So yeah, you can really work on the cheese. There's not really much you want to do with it, but you can make it any way you want it. Like, you can have like a little bit of specs of the good stuff. Like here. Whatever you think is good, guys, alright? I don't care if you make it all like. I don't care if you make it all yellow, but. But yeah, just remember the possibilities for cheese is endless. You can make it weird, you can make it look tasty. And what I mean weird, I mean have a magnet filled. Which equals, you might want to add the bats to it. That's probably the only way I can think about maggots right now, but... I know, guys, some of you guys may be hungry for fast food, and... Sorry if you are going out right this moment, so... And maybe we can have, um... Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Anyway, so the next thing we want to add is we want to add some lettuce. Now, this wants to be one row higher and one row outwards. Same thing we did with the soul sand, all right? We just want it to overlap, like, it wants to be one row higher and one row outwards in relationship to the cheese, like this. All right, now. All right, so. So, yeah. Anyway. Now, this really makes me want to feel hungry, but I just ate lunch. So, leftover nachos. That's what I have for lunch. Not from Taco Bell, but 
homemade nachos. Anyway, once you got the lettuce taken care of, which I know it does look a little bit awkward, but we'll have to deal with it. So the next thing we can have is we're going to add another burger patty, all right? For this one, we want to make it one row higher and one row inwards. Inwards, guys, that's the word I'm talking about. Inwards, okay? So, we just want to have it inwards, and we just want to have a, a row of so, um, so sand, all right? We want to add two layers of this. And I do recognize it's kind of getting dark. Hey, we don't care. So, alright. Okay. Now, once you got that taken care of, add another layer of soul sand, alright? Like this. Alright. Wow. So. However, um, I will show you guys how to make an interior for this house, alright? I'll show you guys how to make an interior. It will be, I don't know, it will be about one to two days directly after I post this video to YouTube. So, just want to let you guys know how this is exactly is going to work. Anyway, now once you've got that taken care of, um, depending on where you want to have it, you, we're also going to be needing some nether rack. Alright, you can use netbook slabs, which I'll probably not use, but I want you guys to use a nether rack, alright? And we want to add three row. we want to add three rows of nether rack going horizontal across the burger. This will represent a strip of bacon, which, you know, every single man loves bacon, right? Who doesn't love bacon? Who will never? Right. It, it really depends on how exactly you want it to be like, but this is how I'm thinking about having it. Alright. We just want to hang it out by one row. Alright. And then maybe I can cut the... I can get rid of the strip here of the rock, and I can replace it with red wool. Or, excuse me, white wool. To represent, like, the tasty part of the bacon. Alright, anyway, now, once you've got this tank care of, guys, let's see here, we're we'll just going to make some adjustments, okay, so, now just add a row of cheese, alright, then once you go, this time I like to go inside of the burger now, alright, you can make this like a cheese sauce, alright, but, I'm just going to be having a row of cheese, alright? Now, if you don't want this, if you excuse me for a moment. Alright, anyway, now, we're going to be working on the tomato, alright? We want to do a row of, or a layer of red that's one row inwards and one row higher in relationship to the second part of the cheese. We just want to add that directly on top, alright? And then finally, we're going to have a row of white wool, and we're going to finish it off with the bun, which I will make a part two of this, all right? And that part two will be a house, but, but I will give myself one moment to think about what I need to do in just a moment. Anyway, now we want to do the same thing we did with the tomatoes for the white wool. This white wool will be the onions, all right? Which is going to complete this burger before we add our top giant floppy bun. And it'll be a giant bun anyway. Who wants a smaller bun? Nobody wants to. So, we're just going to have it like this, alright? Alright, like that, alright? That's pretty simple on what we can do here. Alright, and then we can start to work on our burger on a burger bun, but doing it the same relationship we did with the tomatoes and onions. One row higher and one row inwards. Alright. Just have it to the way that you like it. It's not too difficult to actually think about what you want to have, right? Anyway, 
I'm going to go away for a moment and finish off this bun. Let me be back in a moment. Alright guys, so this is what your burger should look like once you get done with it. Well, once you finish off the bun. Now, what I did is that I did the one row in our, excuse me, higher and the one row outwards with the orange wool. I let's stack two layers on top and then go one row higher and one row inwards until we reach the top. And then we could just fill it in like that. All right. It's very simple on how that works. All right. So you can tell that the burner's pretty high, it looks like. It's pretty big. And although it doesn't really look like this picture, by the determination, it looks like a lot thinner and a lot more taller. But, but hey, we don't mind. So what I also did is I also added a door here. Plus I made a little hole that will take you to the second floor. And eventually the bacon could be the third floor, to be honest with you guys. That's how I actually arranged it to be like. So anyway, that is your burger 100% fully completed once you have figured it out, all right? Now, just remember that I will be making a house for the, I'll be making the interior for this burger house. So stay tuned tomorrow to, stay tuned tomorrow, like I said, all right, so just want to make myself clear. So stay tuned tomorrow for the interior for my burger house. Anyway, don't forget that I will also be making a new Kingsay update here in a little while. So, just want to tell you guys that. Anyway, guys, that is all I want to tell you guys for right now. That's the Burger House exterior 100% fully completed. Now, you can also consider buying yourself add some, some, some stuff. Like, for example, add um, three this. Then we can add a burger patty. Um, Well... This is something else I would do. I would like to make it look like a little bit like... Make it like where it actually looks like a burger when you look at it. If it's made like, you know. You know like where it looks like something that you would expect from this build. Like, make it like... A burger where it's only made with one block. Alright, so. We get out the lettuce. The cheese. The two soul sand. Or the core pound pie. Alright, so. Anyway, we can make it like that. Alright, that kind of looks cool. To be very honest with you. Anyway, that is all I'm going to show you guys for right now. Stay tuned tomorrow for the burger house interior. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for incredibly awesome tutorials every day. Don't forget to give this video a like, and don't forget to let me know in the comments down below which should I make next in Minecraft. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time in the next video. Take care.